have a steam engine coming up next. Or not. Oliver Super 77. 
uh, that we restore this year for the, uh, the scholarship program for our club does. And uh, did you have any trouble following the guidelines of the application? Um, not really. Um, we uh, just did some paint. We got new tires on it. Um, and the engine ran pretty good. We just got some little uh, tune-ups in it. So how, how long has the tractor actually been in your family? You own it or your dad or someone? Um, we've had it for about two years, um, and we bought it from a family uh, yeah, about two years ago. They've had it their whole life, pretty much. Okay. Um, so we gave you how much money last year? Uh, $250, and then $250 when it's complete. So sometime this weekend, we can uh, finish payment. <laughs> anyway, to give you a little back, uh, background here, the Farm Club has a program we created called Jumpstart. It is for young people in our club that, is, that are from 14, yeah, 14 to 18 years old that want their own tractor to, to do with what they want to do. But uh, if they fill out an application, and there are certain questions on there, and they turn it in, and they get awarded the, uh, the uh, it's not really a scholarship, I guess, it's just a jump start on the project, they can get up to $500 to help with their project. Dawson, you did a great job on it, so thanks for bringing it. Thank you. All right. Now, now we will get on with the, the meat of the parade. How's that? First case tractor is... It's a VAC. Owned by Cecil Lumley, tomorrow, Cecil's driving, and it's a 1946. Thank you. 
1955 model, owned by Rod Sager, driven by Aaron Wise, and the passenger is Paige Wise, they're from Mainville. The Top Jet 20, the 1953, owned by Ron Steger from Mainville, his daughter Lisa is driving. Another Farm All 8, 1949 model, owned and driven by Mark Culbertson from Wayville.